King picking it up and taking it out of the zone. Chopped back in by Malazinski and here's Bullis driving it into the corner. Going up against Nick Oliver. Malazinski back to the point in front of the net. Now with the shot and the goal for Allen now. And the Wildcats take the lead just over, just over 90 seconds into this one. It's Aaron Nell with the finish. We've seen that before. And that is his thir thir 14th goal, sorry, of the season um, for the Wildcats player coach. Yeah, it look, looked like you know, Sam Bullis drove the net in the corner, um, put some pressure on. Great forecheck. Thomas Malazinski passing out to Aaron Nell, and that's, that's his home. Another great kick save from Rennie in the Back uh, to Oliver with the shot, and it's in. It's gone all the way through from Nick Oliver. And the game is tied. I, think that, I don't think that was tipped, and I think that's going to be, be Oliver's... We'll wait for the announcement. I think that's going to be Oliver's first goal of the season on the pa on the slap shot from the point after the initial save by Mark. Yeah, the puck just kind of came back to the point, uh, and Nick Oliver wound one up, and, and it went all the way through. I think it's Colby Tower, Malazinski across to Jones. Jones with the play in front, and it's tipped in by Russ Cowley in front of the net. We said he's he's effective in the centre role on that power play, and the Wildcats this time convert. They lead two one. Yeah, I was just about to, to jump in and say there that this Wildcats power play was looking significantly more threatening than the first one. And before I had a chance to say it, the puck was in the back of the net. Uh, great pass across from Chris Jones and, like you said, Russ Cowley. For Luca, Luca's shot is blocked by Johnson into the corner. Luke Johnson out the zone. He just looks to hold the play and he find it fires through the middle and there's a breakout now for Glenn Billing. Billing wins on net and fires home! A low on Brad Day. And it's 3-1 Swindon, two quick-fire goals to start the, the second period. And Glenn Billing, who had two against um, the Bees on Thursday, now has nine on the year. 3-1 Swindon, 16-07 to go in the second period. Yeah, it all started behind the net in the cat's end from uh, Luke Johnson. He held the puck up well, looked up and saw... Kosti. For Kosti and the Wildcats suddenly have numbers coming off the wing. The shot fired in, and it's another one! The Wildcats score, and it's Gail Labuele, the man who had a hat-trick on the return to the Link Centre last Saturday, gets on the scoreboard tonight with his 15th of the season, his sixth in his last four appearances, and from nowhere, it's 4-1 Swindon. Yeah, this is not the start to the second period the Tigers would have wanted, but uh, almost a three-on-one break here. Uh, Balin Pekosti feed the puck across the game. Has an option with Reed Sayers coming over. Tower shoots a save by Day and it's fired in on the rebound by Reed Sayers. The man who won World, the World Cup's November Player of the Month award finds the target and it's 5-1 Swindon, 8.58 to go in the second period. Yeah, Colby Tower again, another opportunity. This time, you know, he gets the shot on net, but Reed Sayers does really well here. He just drives the middle and stays alert the, the, to be honest with you the Telford defense they'll keep the puck in the zone puck cycled round to the point here's Mitchell King Mitchell King off to the wing the shot the puck down low shoveled by Sutton in front and off the leg and it's in and the Tigers do get on the board here at the, on, at the, on this five minute power play with 407 still to pick up Newell go down low puck in front back to Luca. Luca winds up a shot and it's through and it may have been tipped by Smith but it's 5-3 and suddenly this looks like a very different hockey game yeah, um, without wanting to uh, sound too cliche about it, but they do say that a two-goal lead is the worst lead in hockey. <laughs> um, you know, that's a really, really well-worked it's goal. It's not even tipped. It's straight through from Vladimir Luka. Vlad Luka's yeah, got one. Last power Luka play felt very, it felt very rushed. And there was, you know, then it just took that momentary lapse of miscommunication. But the puck in front of that straight away and a Great goal! Chance. It's fired in, and I think it may be Aaron now. I think that may even be Chris Jones. Or I Chris think. Jones. One of the two, they were both in front of the net. And really from nothing, straight off the face-off, the last power play didn't create anything. This power play yeah, has definitely, created a goal. Definitely Chris Jones on that one. We're going to get the replay straight off the draw. Uh, Russ Cowley gets a good win. It just bounces nicely for Chris Jones, oh, yeah. who uses the, the missed poke check for, from Brad Day. Aaron Nell on the hash mark. Back to Malazinski. Malazinski to Nell with the one-timer. Blocked and through. And Aaron Nell probably puts the cherry on top of this Wildcats um, performance. It's the seventh of the night. It's his second of the game. Aaron Nell's 15th goal of the season and it's 7-3 Swindon with 3-11 to go. We will see the replay here. Malazinski walked in now with plenty of space in the top of the circle.